Hi, my name is Jake and I'm a motion designer from Ukraine, that's why I have this weird accent. And now we will make this effect. As you know, I'm trying to make these tutorials on lowest budget possible. So we will not use Element 3D, Object Tracking, 3D software or any expensive external plugins. Let's see what we can create only inside of basic After Effects. Let's get started. Drag your footage on this icon here to make new composition. Go to File, Import, File. Link to this file will be in description below. But you are free to use any Wolverine claw which you can find. So select it and go import it. Here choose Composition and click OK. You need to know how to film your footage. Basically you need to move your hand only in two axes. From left to right or up and down. You cannot move or twist your hand in 3D space. Let me show you on this example. So basically you can move your hand like this or rotate like this. But you can't twist your hand because it will not work. Also you cannot point your arm towards the camera like this. As you can see it doesn't work. So try to move your hand like this up and down, rotate it and you'll be fine. So first we need to track our hand. That's why I draw some dots on my hand. Actually you need just two visible for camera dots. These I made just in case if these wouldn't work. So select your footage and go to animation, track motion. This little square inside is showing what we're looking for and this is area where we're looking for. I'll set it to center of my X marker and click on this checkbox here for rotation. We have this track point 2 and let's set it to this X marker here, like this. So to start tracking we need to click here. As you can see we lost our track. It happens because movement of my hand is too quick. So let's go back few frames using this button here. Here it's OK. And now let's use this button here. It will track frame by frame. So we lost it here. Let's adjust it. And click forward. Again I'm gonna adjust it. If you don't want to run on this problem, you need to have your markers a lot bigger than these X markers which I've got. Once we've done tracking, let's go to Layer, New, Null Object and click here Edit Target and choose our Null here and click OK. And then by clicking this Apply button, we will assign this tracking data to this Null Object. As you can see, Null Object now stuck to my hand. Now let's import our Wolverine Claw. Just drag it into our composition here. Then using this Pen Behind tool, we can change this anchor point to this middle blade. Then press S on keyboard and change scale as you need. Then choose this selection tool here and move it over. So now we are trying to fit our blades to my hand. Let's also press R on keyboard for rotation. This looks pretty good. Now choose this pick whip and drag to this null object here. Now it will follow our null object. Now let's animate our blades. So about here they full expand. Let's press P, hold shift and press R and S. In this way we can see position, scale and rotation. Let's set keyframes to all of them. About 10 frames earlier, let's drag it here. Also change scale like this and click on this icon here. We need also make it slimmer like this. And let's adjust rotation. Let's cut it to this moment. Then activate motion blur here and here. Now we have this nice motion blur. Now we need to hide this part here. Let's duplicate our footage. Select it and press Ctrl D on keyboard. Drag it up here. And now let's draw a mask. This should be fine. Let's press M on keyboard and right mouse click on this mask here. I'm using After Effects CC 2015. So I have this feature here. But if you don't have this feature, you can just set a keyframe and make it step by step animation. Just follow your hand like this. But I have this track mask feature here, so I'm gonna use it. 
I'll set it to position and rotation and click on this icon here to start tracking. I can adjust at any moment if I like and continue tracking. Now let's track backwards. Ok, tracking is done. Press twice M on keyboard to see all mask properties and let's play with this mask feather value. As you can see it will feather the edge. Let's also change expansion like this and see result. Ok, it looks good. So basically if you don't want to have extra details you can stop on this result here. But I want to have some blood here and healing effect. So for this we need to select these both layers, select one of them, hold shift and select other one. Then go to layer, precompose and let's name it class and click OK. So here we have already a bunch of compositions. Let's rename it to stay organized. This is class image from web, this is our main composition and this is our class which we just made. And now we need to duplicate this composition here in project panel. Select it and press Ctrl D on keyboard to make a copy and press return on keyboard to rename it as blood. If we duplicate here compositions, now we can make any adjustments to this blood composition and it will not affect our original composition. Let's open this blood composition, then click and hold here and select rectangle tool. Let's cut it like this, grab a selection tool and double click on this point here. Now we can rotate it like this and let's also press F on keyboard to make this edge softer, like this. And let's move it over like here. Now let's go back to our main composition and drag our blood in this composition here. Now let's go to effect, generate, fill. And this is will be our blood. Let's set it to dark red color, like this and click OK. Let's go back to our blood composition and here let's apply rough and edges. Drag it to our composition here this effect will add some complexity to our blood. Let's change edge type to spiky. Scale let's make a lot bigger like this and let's bring up our border. So you should have something like this. Let's also disable our motion blur here and here and add some blur. Go to effect, blur, fast blur and set it to about 2. Then select our composition here and press U. Now we need to animate this appearance of blood. Set your time cursor to these keyframes here and then let's delete them like this. And then let's create keyframes to our border and fractal influence. Press U on keyboard to see them. And here at the beginning set it way higher and fractal influence to 0. As you can see in this way we animated our blood. And let's also copy these keyframes, select them and press Ctrl C on keyboard to copy. And then about here let's press Ctrl V to paste. So now we have this animation of appearance and disappearing. So this is basically our healing effect. Let's go back to our main composition here. Let's also click on this toggle switch here and change mode to overlay. It looks way better. Let's duplicate this blood layer, press Ctrl D on keyboard. And to this layer below let's apply some blur. Go to effect, blur and sharpen, fast blur. I'll set it to about 16 and go to effect, color correction, curves. And an alpha channel, let's make it more visible, like this. So now we have more complexity to this. Let's also make a lot darker, like this. Let's tweak our blood animation. Go to blood composition here, expand this layer here and drag these keyframes here. And this way blood will appear faster. Now let's add some movement in hand here. For this we are going to duplicate this class here, select it and press Ctrl D on keyboard to make a copy. Then drag up top here and let's cut this layer like here just to have this moment where blades are in our hand. So we would have this moment here. Now let's duplicate our footage here, press Ctrl D on keyboard, drag it over and we will create mat for this class here. Let's also rename it to mat and using this pen tool let's draw a mask like this. Then press M on keyboard, right mouse click on this mask here and choose track mask. From beginner of this layer, let's start tracking. This is more than enough, let's cut it to this moment. Select this class, let's rename it to inside and change this track mat to alpha mat. Then select our mat and press M on keyboard twice. 
to see all properties of our mask. Let's break down our expansion. Let's change our feather to make our edges softer. So our blades will be visible only in this area. Ok, it looks good. Now select this inside composition and press T on keyboard. Set a keyframe and here set it to 0. Let's also cut this layer to this moment. Let's also select these both layers and go to layer, precompose. I'm gonna call it texture and press ok. Let's make it less visible. I'm gonna set it to 25. So it would look like it's under the skin. Go to layer, new, adjustment layer. And now we will apply displacement map. Drag it onto our adjustment layer here and select here our texture. And let's tweak these values. So as you can see this effect will displace surface of our hand to add some dimensions. Let's also open texture comp here, select this comp and go to effect, blur and sharpen, fast blur. And let's set it to about 5. Let's go back to our main comp and now it looks way better. You can change this intensity as you want. Let's set it to 35 and let's change this displacement map to see what works best. Let's rename it displacement map and set it below of our blood so it will not affect it. As you can see now it looks better and now we can add some extra detail. Let's select this claw and let's apply effect called light sweep. Drag it to this claw here. Let's change angle like this. Let's also change width to about 75 and let's animate it. I'm gonna set it here and from this moment let's create a keyframe here. Let's move it over. As you can see it adds more excitement to the scene. Now let's see how we can remove these markers here. Just select your composition and then using this ellipse tool here you can draw a circle like this. Then right mouse click on this layer here and choose track mask. Let's set it to position. To start track click here. Ok tracking is complete. Now let's apply effect, blur and sharpen, fast blur. And let's set it to about 25. Then press E on keyboard to see our fast blur effect. Scroll down here and click on this plus icon here. And here I'm choosing mask which we just tracked. Also press F on keyboard and let's set feather to about 10. And that's how easy you can remove all of these markers. Just repeat same steps with other markers here. Let's also add some color grading. Go to layer, new, adjustment layer. Set it up top, go to effect, color correction, curves. I'm gonna make it this S shape in RGB channel. In blue channel I drag it down to make it warmer. And in red channel I'll drag it up here. Project from this tutorial is in description. Good news for those who turned on notifications to my channel. I have free template for you with these animated social icons. It is free to download right now and it will be free till March 7, 2017. If you don't want to miss these free templates, you can turn on notification to my channel by clicking on this bell icon along with subscription button here on YouTube. In this way you will not miss opportunities to grab some free templates. If you want to support my channel, you can buy templates from my portfolio. Link is in description. Also, you can check this site. They have lots of After Effects templates. And even few items for free each month, like After Effects slideshow, 3D model, mockup and more. Link to stuff for free is in description. I hope you like this effect. Uh, make sure to subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.